Stephen, is, uh, was that a case of chances missed for you today? Aye, uh, I'm absolutely perplexed, Reece, of uh, how we lost that game of football. I really am. Uh, <coughs> I'm gutted they just shook hands with Peter Murphy there and he's saying how we won that game. You know, he says the amount of chances, the clear-cut chances, there must have been between 8 to 10 ch really clear-cut chances. And um, I'm absolutely gutted for the boys because I thought first half, it was it was kind of itchy peachy maybe we just shaded it, but um, they obviously crossed the ball which we should maybe get out and stop sharper. But um, crossed it to big Tommy Goss and it's very difficult. He's six foot seven at the back post. He's he's had a good header, but I think that was their only shot and goal. I think it was their only chance in the whole whole game. Dev didn't have one chance, uh, one save. Sorry. Um, so that's that's really disappointing. Um, but we come in at one 0 uh, one 0 doing, and you're saying to the boys, you know, show me some character, show me what you've got. We made a change with you in um, to come on and give an injection, and I thought we couldn't go out the half. Um, I thought we were absolutely outstanding, and, and like you say, yeah, I, I I did ask for character, and it's just you're going just get the ball over that line obviously Tom was rounded the keeper and the boys cleared it off the line as well it's so so much fine lines and we don't want to keep saying it but it's a real tough one to take and thoughts on the penalty kick as well well where I was standing it's, it's bounced out for Mikey Anderson to to hit cleanly and he, he, he's volleyed it into the ground but their players came late and actually he's actually hurt he's, uh, he's, he's injured his ankle ligaments so it's either a penalty or a goal kick um, and he gives a corner um, so I don't, I don't know. What, I mean, there, obviously there's contact for his, he's got ligament damage, um, and, and no made contact with the ball. So that's frustrating as well. But I genuinely think it was one of the days, and that's what their manager just said to me as well. You know, we, we absolutely dominated, and it wasn't just one you can come here as a manager and say, "Oh, uh, we were the better team." We, we absolutely dominated the full match. And and it's it's just one of the days. Unfortunately, it's came at this time of the season where we're desperate for points. You can see the crowd getting right behind the players, and they they are um, they are they are desperate for us to get a goal, and they're cheering us on. And you can just feel that that um, you know a wee bit of trepidation and a wee bit of worry for the crowd. And uh, eventually, we just we just ran out of time. But it was just a I really feel for the boys. And as you said, made a change at half time with James Lang coming off and. You know, really replacing him, and yep. he's went and won the wee bar man of the match and the sponsors man of the match. How, how much does that show the uh, the impact he made in the game? He was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant, and and you know we had we had our reasons. You know, you you and had a, had a wee injury, and we'll be bringing him back. Played him against Kelty last week, and you know, he just wasn't he maybe full flow so we're trying to make sure that he's, he's he's going to be at his best so we thought half time let's get him on let's get him running at them and he done that and he must have created four or five glorious opportunities um, I thought he was absolutely outstanding and for only being on 45 minutes and getting man in the match it kind of it says a lot about his performance Stephen cheers